Hey everyone, welcome to Darkling Alley. Jay and Tempest here. The Lake House DLC releases tomorrow, and we're excited to share a last minute video with some information that might be important to the DLC. So let's take a look. So if you're anything like us, you've probably played this game a stupid number of times. About a thousand. Roughly somewhere in there, yeah. So we found something recently. I fired up the game in preparation for the DLC tomorrow, and I thought I'd play through it again and focus on some of the nursery rhyme stuff. Well, I found an interesting document that I never have seen of all the times that we've played it. It sort of reminds me of in the remaster for Alan Wake 1, how they had the FBC document in Sheriff Breaker's office. Actually, no, it was a letter, sorry. And that wasn't there in the first game. So it reminds me of that. I think that this document is going to be really important to the DLC. And I think that if we're right, and this is a new document that they just put in with a recent update, then I think it will be pertinent to the DLC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just read it for those of you who are just listening and not watching. So Jay, I'm going to hand it over to you. The header of the document is Federal Bureau of Control, Confidential, Access Restricted to Authorized Personnel. The title is Report Supplement Regarding the Shadow. Summary. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional details regarding the Shadow A-010 have been discovered. Redacted and Redacted, both present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are a. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual, quote, contained, and in parentheses, definition needed, within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. See file 38-453-1873 for full report. Okay, so that is located in the boatyard on the dock. However, I thought there was just this one, but there are actually two more, and all three are in Bright Falls. This is the first time I'm seeing it, so we wanted to bring it to you before the DLC tomorrow. And just the mention of Barbara Jagger and AWE 35, and just the fact that it is obviously not supposed to be out there, and it is now. We thought that we'd just go ahead and share it because we're excited. We're totally pumped for tomorrow for the DLC. And something else that I thought was interesting to point out is that all of the test sites are abandoned. So, I mean, that's probably an no-brainer. Everybody's played it. And so I think that's something important to take into consideration. I don't know. Maybe they're all um, at the Odeer Diner. I guess it's true when Elmo said that their security is a joke. <laughs> We're continuing to hypothesize and theorize and put on our tinfoil hats as well. So yeah, we want to come at you with another bit of information later was our plan to have something out. But this we just found and we wanted to do something on it. So if we can get something out to you again tonight or before the DLC, we will absolutely try our best. Well, that's it, everyone. Have fun at the Lake House. We'll see you soon.